you know, over time, there are many professions that just kind of fade away. You don't see a lot of them anymore. No, like seamstresses. Mm -hmm. Shoe cobblers. Yeah. Cobbler. It's so hard to Although, find. You know, I don't cobbler, I got my yeah, cobbler. Yeah, you got, exactly. But it's kind of unique, right? There How about a pipe know. maker? There's a smoke shop downtown Minneapolis where a father and son are still in the business of making the perfect pipe. In fact, Rich Lewis has been carving, smoothing, and finishing pieces at Lewis Pipe and Tobacco for 42 years. That's what makes him a Minnesotan to meet. The Rand Tower at 5th and Marquette is home to many unique businesses. I can associate with it. It's, it's vintage like me. Including Lewis Pipe and Tobacco. My family bought the store in 1969, and uh, shortly after that, my father passed away. Then, at just 20 years old, I was suddenly in the tobacco business. And that's where Rich Lewis has stayed. When I was 20 back then. I'm 62 now, so, so 42, 42 years. years yeah. At first, the store had a steady stream of regular customers buying tobacco and cigars. Men are pretty simple creatures. We just <laughs> want to give us something to smoke and something to drink and let us be by ourselves and we're fine. <laughs> but 10 years in, Rich had a pipe dream. So I've had some customers for as long as I've been here. You know, really? over 40 years, yeah. One of those customers introduced Rich to pipe making. Apprenticed over in Italy and, and in England with some of the really great pipe makers over there. That's where he still gets his wood, briar block. Because of the, the graining in the wood and the styling of the bowl, it really makes each one sort of an individual. A couple of years ago, the family tradition continued. Rich's son, George, joined the business. Once I pick up the block, I just start looking at it, follow the grain, and see what I can turn, make out of it. Now they, together, make everything from armadillos to the billiard. This is sort of the king of the classic shape. But there's nothing classic about who's smoking pipes. Hipsters are some of their top customers. They want to do something like most most of us when we're that age, that is different than what the other people are doing. We want to be able to make a pipe for the everyday person. That's why they keep their custom work between $300 and $550. I have people that tell me <laughs> my stuff is too cheap. I, as a kid growing up on the north side, I think $300 is a lot for anything. And Rich's biggest fortune really comes from something he missed out on. Time with his son working on legacy pieces for other families. It's something that people can have for really the rest of their lives. Yeah, he said people have come in and said, this is my grandfather's pipe, can you repair it? Oh, or cool. So it, it is a generational kind of thing where it gets passed down. The Rand Tower, by the way, is the third downtown location, so you may have seen them oh. other places uh, since 1969. But after eight years, that's where they kind of plan to stay. And to give you an idea of how long Rich has been doing this, mm -hmm. When he started, a pound of tobacco was three ninety nine. Okay. It's now sixty four dollars. Oh, oh my Jeez. gosh! Wow. It's they're artists. It's like yeah. artistry. Oh. Well, and that's they go in and you can look. We have a, a picture in the story. He was sitting there making the pipe that day, and about a week later, he sent me the before and after picture, which I think we have uh, for you this morning. But it, you know, he starts with just this block of yeah. wood, mm -hmm. and you go in there, and there's really an art to just shaping it out and figuring what it's going to be. And he said mm -hmm. it just it just depends on the wood and the way that the grains are and that kind of thing, and um, going through and figuring out yeah. just is it going to be an armadillo? Is it going to be the classic kind of <laughs> pipe yeah. or what? You know what is it? So it is funny. I have no. I've never smoked. I have no interest in smoking or having a pipe. But it's a beautiful piece of art. You yeah. think that'd be kind of a cool thing? I to actually have? thought like just on a bookshelf. I yep. think like if you had, awesome. it'd just be kind of a yes. cool, just artistic piece. And he'll do custom pieces. The pipe he made in the story, by the way, he emailed me the before and after picture and then said, "Oh, by the way, it's sold." Oh. So that these things are wow. going that fast. Yeah. Hipsters. Cool. I love it. I love it. Hey, they have a new market. That's it's great. It's good. Mm -hmm. Got to adapt. Mm -hmm.